Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with the final video that I will be doing for the Dream House Curio Contest. So the hint that you will need will definitely be in this video. It could be subtle, it could be not so subtle. Um, you will just have to, again, use your intuition and your discernment to figure out which note I am talking about. So today I'm gonna be talking about my top five patchouli perfumes. Um, in my opinion, these are the only five patchouli perfumes that you need in your collection. You don't need all five of them, even just one of these will suffice if you're just looking for a good patchouli to add to your collection or if you don't have any patchouli in your collection and you want to add one, I highly recommend it be one of these five. So I'm gonna jump right in. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Lush Rentless. This is one of my most favorite patchouli fragrances of all time. This is grapefruit oil, patchouli, and tonka bean. And the tonka bean in this really mellows out the patchouli. So it ends up smelling like a slightly earthy slash medicinal patchouli, but it's not, um, it's not a hippie patchouli. It's not even overtly patchouli. It's just amazingly warm and comforting and slightly sweet. And I'm just, I'm such a sucker for tonka. The tonka and patchouli combination of this perfume is so comforting and cozy. I absolutely adore this fragrance. This is one that I can wear any time of year. It's a little bit heavy for the summertime, but the grapefruit oil in it is enough that it gives it a brightness that it's able to be worn in the heat. So anyways, that is Lush Rentless. It's just a beauty. This is a fragrance from Matthew Meleg, and this is called Choco Patchouli Vienna 1900. This is such a fantastic like earthy patchouli and powdered cocoa fragrance. Oh my goodness. This one, it's so well blended, you don't know where the patchouli ends and where the chocolate begins. Honestly, it's so well blended. It's a bright medicinal patchouli. So bright and medicinal that it almost smells minty. And in fact, I think this might have some mint in it if I remember correctly. I will of course have the notes on the screen for you. Oh my goodness. It's so good. It definitely has like a mintiness to it. And then the powdery dark cocoa. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. I'm telling you, you could have any one of these five patchouli perfumes and it would be all you need in your collection. Any, any one of these five would be all you would need. You would be good. Um, this is amazing it's on a level of its own it's so good so i'll link this for you down below i think he matthew has his own website and he also sells on etsy so um that is matthew meleg choco patchouli vienna 1900 next we have this is such an affordable this is the most affordable one on this list and this is such an amazing affordable patchouli this is from reminiscence and this is just called patchouli this is an EDT formulation and you would never know it. This is an absolute monster of a fragrance. This is a beautiful, sweet, earthy, it's a sweet, earthy, kind of naturally chocolatey kind of patchouli. I actually bought this bottle for my daughter because it reminds her of my mom and she loves this perfume. Scents like this are so, so comforting for her and for me, but this is a beautiful, earthy, sweet, kind of cakey patchouli. It's amazing. I love it. This one you can find for between $25 and $30, and it's phenomenal. It's really, really good quality, but of all of the ones we're gonna talk, but of the other four that we're gonna talk about, it's probably the least, best quality if that makes sense even though it's amazing quality um, but the other ones are all they're all so good anyways that is patchouli from reminiscence okay next we have a dream house Acurio fragrance this is damn hippie i love this fragrance i mean not only is it the coolest bottle in this whole lineup i mean it is the coolest bottle in this whole lineup um the artwork that he does so vincent does all of the designing and all of the photo shoots for all of his fragrances 
like the whole concept of everything. He comes up with the concept of everything and does all of the styling and just everything. I mean, how awesome is this bottle? And then with the wax stamp on the top, um, they're just, they're so cool. This is more of a woody patchouli. So it's, it's a little bit earthy, a little bit earthy, a little bit bright, but you get this gorgeous kind of fresh wood with this one and it is stunning. Yeah, this one is a dry woody patchouli with the slightest bit of sweetness. It's amazing. This one is an absolute beast too. It's just, it's gorgeous. This one's perfectly unisex. It would be gorgeous on a man or a woman. Um, I've definitely, I've worn this one and I love it. It's very earthy and calming and very zen. I love this one because it's like a dry, it's a little bit more of a dry patchouli. It's gorgeous. So that is Dreamhouse Securio, damn hippie. And then last but not least, we have Gallagher Behold Patchouli. And this one, I only have a sample. I have a couple samples of this one actually, and I am in love with this one. Eventually, I will add a full bottle to my collection. This is the only other patchouli perfume that I feel like I need. Once I get a bottle of this, I will not need anything else. This one is amazing because this smells like a chocolate orange and patchouli. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a chocolate orange, but then add patchouli. It's amazing. It's, it's like right on the line of being a gourmand and being a patchouli fragrance. Gosh, I love it so much. This is an amazing patchouli fragrance. If you can imagine a chocolate orange, but just add patchouli to it. It's sweet and tart and yummy, amazing. So anyways, that is Gallagher Behold Patchouli. Oh, I don't even want to rank these because it's so hard. I mean, I'm just going to put, yeah, we're just going to say the these four are number one <laughs> because there's no way I could, that I would be able to decide between these four, which one is the best. I mean, I wouldn't even be able to rank them. I should have never said I would rank them because I can't. They're all so unique and so different. Every single one of these is completely different from each other. There's no way I could rank them. So this is number one. So those four are number one, and then this would be number two. Um, I adore this fragrance, so I don't want it to seem like I don't love Reminiscence Patchouli. I do, but I just think out of the whole bunch, this is the last one I would go for, unless you're just looking at strictly cost because this is the most affordable one. So if you just need a really good, really affordable patchouli, this is it. Um, if you have a little bit of money to splurge, this Rentless, you would probably have to find on the gray market somewhere. Um, you'd probably have to find this on a reseller website like Mercari or eBay. I don't think that Lush sells this perfume anymore. I think it's been discontinued. So that kind of knocks this one out of the running. Um, but if you have a little bit more money to spend, any one of these would just be amazing. Um, with the Dreamhouse Securio being the most affordable of these three, um, and then the Behold Patchouli would be the next afford most affordable one, and then the Matthew Mellig would be the least affordable. Um, but they're all phenomenal patchoulis. So those are the top five patchoulis in my collection. I think those are the best patchoulis on the market. I don't feel like I need anything else in my life. I hope that you all found the, the clue in this video. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.